Joshua Dull for USA Today Sports and Kevin Lee made his walk to the octagon last week for his interim title fight against Tony Ferguson at UFC 216. Mixed martial arts MMA fans were almost instantly informed the Motown phenom was suffering from a staph infection on his chest. UFC commentator Joe Rogan pointed it out on the broadcast, and UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier followed up by confirming he believed it was, in fact, a staph infection. On a recent episode of his podcast Talk Talker, Cormier discussed being a part of the UFC 216 broadcast and noted that the commentary team was told not to mention the staff infection, but stated he did anyway quotes via MMA Maniasa were on air, right, and Rogan goes is that staff Cormier said. And somebody in my ear, I don't know who it is, goes don't say nothing. And I was like what the hell do I address this, or do I not say anything so I was like it is. I couldn't help myself, I go, it is staff because it's big and red, and raised up, Joshua Dahl for USA Today Sportsly has noted before that having staff may have impacted his ability to cut weight as well as his performance inside the octagon, as he suffered a third-round submission loss via triangle choke to Tony Ferguson for the interim lightweight title. Cormier also discussed the negative effect staff has on an athlete's performance. The issue is you can take antibiotics to get better. But again, antibiotics, it's the devil when you're getting ready for a fight because it FCKS with your cardio, Cormier explained. You don't really have much of an option in terms of feeling better when you have staff, in training, you go oh my goodness, what is this it might be staff. You stop, you get on antibiotics, and you get better. When you're a week from the biggest fight of your career, you go oh shit, this is staff, but I gotta keep training. You don't have the option to just shut it down, Cormier believes Leedy IDNT get a fair shake due to the fact that he was getting tired as the fight went on, while Ferguson was on his game and getting better for Kevin Lee, he had no option because he couldn't not fight, Cormier said. And you saw it, I mean between the second and third round, he told his corner, he goes, I'm just so tired, it's sad because he DIDNT get a fair shake but the reality is, Tony Ferguson was on his game. And it was just getting worse because Tony was just getting better as the fight was going on, Joshua Dalusa today sports next Joni Hendricks explains how move to Jackson Wink saved his career.